Before you use your Collaboration Hub, you will need to register and create a user ID. We'll walk you through that process in this short video lesson. Receiving an email, welcoming you to the Collaboration Hub. The email will come from a no reply address from our business partner hosting the hub. If you don't see it, check your spam, clutter, or junk folders. The subject of the email will include our firm's name. Upon opening the email, you will see our logo at the top. This way you will know it's from a trusted source. In the center of the email, click on the register my account button. You will need to register an account with our business partner. Don't worry, your account is secure. Enter your first and last name. Next we need your phone number, for security purposes. Much like your bank does, your phone number can be used, to receive a verification code via text, or voice to verify your identity when you log into your hub. Select 1 US for your country code. Type in your phone number, using numbers only, it will be formatted automatically. If you want to add a second phone you can, however it is not necessary. We don't provide your user ID, you create one of your choosing. Choose a user ID that you can remember, and we recommend, that you do not use your email address. Next, type in a strong password. Include an uppercase letter, some numbers and a special character based on the criteria provided here. Then, retype your password to make sure we got it right. And finally, select the option at the bottom to verify you are a person completing this form, and not a machine. When you're ready, click the register button. Once your registration is successful, we can log into your collaboration hub. You will be redirected to the login page automatically. However, before we log into client collaboration, let's return to your email. Our business partner has sent another email with your registration details. This email may also get stuck in a spam, clutter, or junk folder. If you are using Gmail, it may also go to the Promotions tab. You may want to add this email address to your whitelist, so you don't have to search for future messages. The subject will indicate your registration was successful. Let's open the email. This email contains your user ID that you selected during the registration process. Save this email, as this will be your user ID anytime you need to log into client collaboration. Additionally, the Go to My Hub button will bring you to our site that will access your collaboration hub. Click on the Go to My Hub button. We are now ready to log into the collaboration hub for the first time. You will know it's our site because our logo will be at the top of the page. We recommend that you bookmark this site so you can return to your hub throughout the tax season. Type your user ID, password and CAPTCHA text. Then, click Log In. You will need to verify your identity when you log in. You can retrieve the code from the contact details you added to your profile when set up. Select the method you want to receive your code, and type in the code you received, and click Submit. Since this is the first time you are logging in, you will ask to repeat the process. This process is in place, since this will be the primary method for verifying your account in the future. When you see the home page, you have successfully logged in. And it's time to get started on your tax tasks. If you need any assistance or further instruction, please click on your profile and select Help. Here you will find short video tutorials, such as this one to guide you through different steps. This wraps up the short tutorial on creating your account. Thank you for your time.